Well, hello, my YouTube friends. Today, it's a pleasure and an honor for me to do a new video. It's been uh, quite a while since the last, and I want first to apologize uh, about that. Uh, this Instagram thing uh, is uh, very, very time consuming, uh, very versatile, very easy to, to, to use. So unfortunately, yes, I am more into uh, Instagram now. But uh, I knew that eventually I will uh, find a way to uh, make a video, uh, not prepared as always, about a knife. Uh, this knife is the Typhoon from Mr. Brian Nado. You all know that he won uh, the Blade uh, Award for two things. I think it was yeah for the best uh, maker or new maker of the year and the best tactical folder. So here is how he presents first his knife. And I want to insist on that because usually a custom knife maker, they don't take, uh, they don't make the effort to, to, to do a great packaging. And uh, this guy, man, uh, on each and every one of his knife, he provides this uh, box with this certificate of authenticity uh, that is written here in the plate that you find on the box. So that uh, first is a great mention uh, about uh, the way that this guy uh, works. Uh, also, you see that you enter his books, he gives you uh, an estimate uh, time, uh, he's spot on, he will provide you with an invoice, very, very professional. I am probably, I would say that it's, he's the most organized maker uh, out there. Uh, so that's why I, I want to make a special mention also uh, for him. So Brian Nedo is kind of new uh, in the business. He's making knives for uh, eh, less than a year, I would say. And uh, he's been very, very successful in that, uh, as he is a very, very talented knife maker. Uh, of course, this is a custom, but Brian works a lot with the CNC. So that allows him uh, to make more and more knife. And of course, this kind of pattern that would be probably, probably impossible or at the very least very hard to do uh, without the, the CNC. His work is flawless. Flawless. I mean, uh, I'm going to try to describe that to the best of my possibilities today. Uh, but his work is simply flawless. Uh, yeah, on each point. I mean, uh, the design is flawless. The action is fantastic. Uh, you know what? As always, uh, it's not prepared, but let's try to make some sense out of it. So let's start first with the uh, general design. Uh, as you can see, this is something that I absolutely love. It's a concealed blade, almost totally concealed blade. Just the cut here for the choil. The rest is very, very neat. Very nice uh, design overall. Uh, full titanium scale you have here uh yeah some kind of different pattern as you see here some dots and here some lines with those grooves here perfectly well executed uh nice uh, kd pivot very nice on the other side the lock side you have this clip which is inserted in the handle and that's a very very neat also feature so you don't have any hardware um, any hardware you know, uh, uh, for the clip. Very, very nice, I like it. Uh, steel insert for the lock, very nice. You can see here on the flipper tab that he does here his signature, Brian Nedo, uh, BM. Uh, that, that is, of course, to let this blade uh, totally uh, sterile, and that's a feature that I absolutely adore uh, too. So yeah, very nice. Uh, handle and also here a nice backspacer so he does every kind of all, every kind uh, all kind of different uh, patterns here this is uh, one of these one of his latest uh, but you can see on his website he's perfectly well uh, I mean you, you should check his website he does all kind of pattern all kind of anodization and uh, it's a pleasure to work with the guy you can ask him a lot of things uh, and he will do that uh, for, for you. So yeah, very nice overall design on the handle. Just love it. Then you have, of course, it's a flipper, it's a flipper only action. And the action on the flipper is just brilliant, brilliant. 
you know what? I'm totally erratic as always. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's, I'm sorry about that. Pretty sure it's on bearing or you need to excuse me for that. Oh, this way, you're gonna be sure that those vids are absolutely not prepared. Uh, I would say that I'm pretty sure that uh, this is uh, this works on uh, bearing uh, the pivot uh, and uh, yeah it, it definitely must be on bearing otherwise I wouldn't I mean it would be the first time in my life that I would see such a smoothness uh, at the opening for uh, yeah, as a, yeah for the opening uh, yes yeah, so a very smooth action the detent is one of the stronger I've ever seen you can Oh no, no need to, 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 to try to open this blade. It won't open by accident. It's very, very, very uh, strong detent. But yet, the action is just, as you can see, absolutely uh, splendid. Uh, the only thing, I don't know if it's only on mine, the engagement, as you can see, is perfect, like 40, 50%. Uh, yeah, the only thing uh, that I would mention is that the, the lock is very, it's not sticky. But it's very strong. I mean, the, you, have, you have to exert, to put a lot of pressure in order to disengage. I think it's becoming a little bit better in time. But uh, for this one, actually, the uh, lock is very, very uh, strong. Uh, but that's not a real problem, actually. There is no blade play whatsoever, no rock lock, and it's not sticky. It's strong, but not sticky. Try to hear something. Nothing, you see? Only a strong, uh, strong uh, lock. Nothing uh, again to complain about that. Now let's go to the blade. Uh, also, Brian has a lot of different uh, blades. This one obviously is his Tanto. Uh, you have a clip point, a Bowie, sorry, uh, and uh, the other one is a drop point also. Yeah, uh, so. Three different blade shapes, uh, different kind of finishes also. You can have some holes there. You can have some grooves here as on mine. Uh, obviously, for those who know me, you uh, know that I'm a freak for Tanto. So, uh, of course, I took the Tanto. I probably would have preferred in the first place the holes, but they were not available and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I took the groove and I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy uh, about that. Uh, the light is not the best in the world here, uh, but yeah, as you can see here, the hand rub is fantastic. I can tell you something, uh, that much I can tell you, uh, compared to my Mosher, my Monaros, my... Um, Whatever, Coral, uh, this guy compares to, the, to, 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 to those makers, uh, hands down. I mean, the, 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 it's a flawless, flawless uh, hand rubbed finish on the satin. Then what's in interesting is in, inside the grooves, as you, as you can see, the finish is a bit blast. So that gives you a kind of uh, contrast, a very, very nice contrast. And this blade is very, very elegant also. You know, if you look at it uh, from distance, you couldn't tell that it's a complex groin, but b believe me, it is. You can see here the line, first line here. You have a second line here that crosses the, you can see it here, that crosses the, uh, the grooves there. Then you have a delicate swedge that you can see here, very delicate swedge. Absolutely fantastic. And when you look at it, I mean, you, you see all the different grinds. And I can tell you something, it's an excellent work. Look at the, the jimping also that he does here on the spine, which is a very effective jimping. I haven't uh, talked about that, but as a user, this knife is definitely, definitely a great, great EDC. I mean, uh, it's light, very light carry. Uh, as always, I don't care about measures, but let me tell you something about the specs. Uh, this is a very, very light knife. Uh, I would say it shouldn't be over for uh, for ounce or something like that. You know, very, very, you know, easy to carry. the um, The grip is fantastic, and that not only uh, that gives you some kind of nice design, but the pattern here uh, on the handle gives you an excellent grip. So for the grip, believe me, uh, it's excellent. The feel in hand is just fantastic. The clip, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not, I mean, you don't feel the clip when you grab it uh, in, your, in your hand. Very, very nice uh, grip here. The choil is excellent. The guard on the flipper is, uh, 
he's okay. I mean, it's not a real guard, but uh, I, I, I guess that, yeah, yeah, in a way, uh, not, not the best feature as a guard, but it's, uh, it's, it's fine. I mean, the Choi and the jipping here uh, for the cutting task here are just excellent. So very nice uh, feel in hand for big hands like mine. Uh, the, the blade is absolutely well, or, I mean, it's just great organic blade. It's pointy as it can come. I mean, this will penetrate. It's not a, a thick, so you don't want to pry with this uh, blade, of course, but for penetration, this is just one of the yeah, one of, one of the pointiest, I don't even know if it's English, one of the pointiest blade uh, I have in my collection. Uh, the tip is, oh, just uh, uh, crazy, crazy sharp and uh, penetrating. Uh, the first edge here for small cutting task, just excellent. And you see it's a dramatic uh, tanto. I, I absolutely love uh, the design of this tanto. And the first edge, of course, uh, gives you a lot of uh, of cutting uh, ability uh, possibilities here. So yeah, very very nice uh, overall knife. The yeah the specs. No, I don't give. Uh, I don't really uh, necessarily uh, have interest in the the specs. But I, if I remember correctly, the blade uh, has to be something like four uh, inch uh, in size. Yeah, it carry it carries also perfectly well. Uh, in any kind of uh, you know, jeans or, or, or other pants. Uh, yeah, a great, great, great knife for EDC, great design, great maker to work with. And as I told you, this guy uh, will, uh, you know, they were, uh, uh, as always, a crazy aftermarket. Those knives were selling for over 1600 in the secondary, secondary market when uh, he first made them. Uh, now uh, it's more reasonable. I mean, uh, first of all, you can get into his book, I think so. Uh, then again, if you can't, uh, you can always uh, buy those knives. Eh, a little bit expensive uh, yet because it's going to be 12, 1100, 1200. Uh, but uh, that, 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 that's fine because they're, they're worthy. Uh, but if you get in his books, the price, I mean, the table price from the maker is 800 to 850, something like that. Uh, and that's probably yeah uh, 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 one of the greatest price uh, I've seen for the quality uh, that you have in his knives. And he's making more and more of them, uh, probably because of the use and the, and then the fact that he masters very well uh, the CNC. So probably the price will stabilize. You know, where there, there will be some kind of balance, uh, and you will be able first of all to get those knives and probably. Uh, for uh, a price that would be around or a little bit less than 1000 which is uh, uh, of course a lot of money but for a knife like that is just just absolutely uh, a good uh, deal uh, yeah that, that that was the purpose for me to 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 make this video uh, probably not a lot just a pleasure to <laughs> to hang up with you uh, guys and to talk about a maker uh, that uh, makes a lot of things uh, that other should uh, should take as an example like the packaging for example uh, like the way he deals with things the the, the fact that uh, uh, he always honors uh, the, the the time his time frame uh, this is something that is missing with uh, a lot of makers and that's very unfortunate uh, sometimes so yeah uh, yeah, I would say a major congrats to Mr. Brian Nado uh, for being in this market for such a small amount of time and being the maker that he is today. Uh, my friends, it was a pleasure also to make this new video. Oh, I had one last thing, of course, as you could expect, the blade centering is spot on. Uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to do this new video and hopefully uh, more uh, to come. Uh, I thank you for those of you who still uh, will follow me after this long period of uh, silence. You have a great one and I'll talk to you later here on YouTube or on Instagram. Bye-bye.